So setup wise, I say is decent. Just on occasions that ball position gets back a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but we want to be sort of keep moving it back because it it could be a way you could fix your fault without really fixing the fault. Yeah. So we want to be careful. Obviously, a longer club at the drive and the hybrid, you'd struggle with the ball that far back. Okay. So the issue we said is you go back. Okay. It's more your arms sort of dragging across your chest. Not really much lower half movement there at all, okay? So now as you come back down the golf ball, the top half now is sort of unwinding. Your left arm's dragged in, it's been pulled over. Your hips not really moving towards target at all. It's more kind of spinning and pivoting. There's basically impact as you can... There was impact there when the ball kind of blurs there. And you see the hands kind of position somewhere in that window basically back of your trail leg so a lot of scoop and flick going on there that club face is closed the ball's only going to go one way it's going to be going left again that was sort of a move that you put into place to try and stop it going from left to right before now it's not doing that we've got to try and adjust to that so there's the side of your body there okay turn the hips on the way back and move into that wall there turn move turn and move so there's your impact there are they far enough forward not ideally but are they further forward yes. yes i mean that's kind of the window your hands are there whereas this impact but their impact just about there is kind of there so you're moving them towards target like i say if you can practice up against the wall they're just moving into the wall there bit at a time hands going forward hips going forward just so you get the feeling of where your hips need to be so you rotate a bit more in the back swing and the club moves around because of that rotation, not because your arms are pulling around you. Yeah? And that's the key thing. I mean, a lot of people sort of go, oh, you knew your legs were doing something wrong before, which you sort of stopped doing. So rather than improve the movement, you just stop moving them together. And now the only way the club could kind of get around you is your arms just doing this. Left arm gets sucked across your chest here. Now as you turn the left arms along behind you, now as you come back to the golf ball, the only way that left arm can get back to the golf ball is if you dump over the top, yeah? You can't, otherwise you have to try and unattach your arm. And it's not enough time in the downs and could do all those things consistently to produce a good shot, okay? So making some swings that maybe feel a little bit shorter and smaller was absolutely fine, but you're almost getting as much hip turn here, maybe a bit more, with a swing that's going that far back than you were with a full swing on the left-hand side. Yeah. So getting that right hip out the way, so your pelvis now is kind of rotating on this sort of turned angle position, and then from there we're moving that left. It almost feels like your left butt cheek is sort of hitting the target, hitting the wall. And if you could do that in your work time, as you said, you get a break every so many hours or whatever, up against the wall there, rotate, move into it, rotate, move into it, rotate, move into it. Okay, so you get the feeling of the hip hitting the wall and then eventually your arms and hands are going to follow. If the left arm is dragged across your chest, it's very hard then to get it back in front of you, yeah? If it stays kind of here, yeah? Now when I move back, oh, it's there. If I've moved it here across and then I move back, oh, it's back here now, square the cliff face up. <laughs> so your arm now being too far back and across your chest means it's very difficult to get your hands into this window we want to try and get them yeah. as opposed to where they were, okay? So the key thing is to understand what the body's doing. The body is the key thing. I think in the past, when people try to sort of swing from into it, they're just sort of trying to throw their arms at this, which is useless, yeah? You end up shaking or doing whatever. So the body turns better on the way back. And then from there now, that's your impact position we're looking for. So it feels like your hips are kind of almost pointing effectively out to the right they won't be but that's the feeling you're going to have an impact that your lower half's going to be yeah exactly in that kind of sort of side bent tilted position this way yeah so your left side feels taller and longer yeah yeah so better hip turn stay right there move the arms in okay mate cool good stuff let's have a couple more then and then we'll uh, see what and find out what speed you can get to that's the key thing start off at a shorter distance build it up and once you feel you can comfortably hit it 50 80 60 whatever it may be then you go faster and faster and faster okay mate